but as I was saying, it's such a fun little jump into the into the past to to see the things that I saw, shit like that. I would like the good thing is at least it didn't fucking traumatize me, you know, to the point where I just couldn't do shit like that no more. But it's still funny going, like I said, going back and seeing. Uh, please don't tell anyone. Okay, that gives us fly. Okay, that's that's actually top tier. But like I said, it's such a great thing. I wish I, I got a lot of things, you know, in terms of stories that I could say, creepy pastas as well, that I would like to react to or just talk about at least. But enough of that. We'll just put that in the past because that was a whole, that was just a little lavender Easter egg. But right here, we're gonna have to wake up the Snorlax because we're gonna have to take on the bicycle road and we're gonna have to go down to go. What's his name? To go fight Koga. So now Snorlax is also a really good Pokemon to have, but I don't think I'm gonna keep him. So I'm just gonna see if I could catch him. Okay, I'm gonna tell you this right now. I I almost lost to it. I almost lost Nummy. I almost lost one one. I almost lost Weed. So <laughs> whoops. Yeah, I think I have all of them. But now we get to go we get an encounter at Route 17, which is amazing. And our encounter will be the duo! Yeah! Actually, I acted. I'm not even being sarcastic. I actually do love this uh, little bird, the little, the little dumb fucking bird, bro. I love you. Ta-da! And I know the perfect name to give you, even though you aren't green. Oh no, but kiwis are brown on the outside, no? Ta-da, kiwi! I love you, kiwi. But as I was saying. Now that we're gonna fight Koga, well, we're not gonna go fight Koga immediately. We're gonna go do one more side mission and then we will go with Koga. Okay, since I I, I tried to do everything I could. Uh, there was only like Pharaohs, Sparrows, uh, what else? Pharaohs, Sparrow, Raticate, Rattata, Doduo. So it doesn't look like there isn't anyone so instead we're, what i'm gonna do just because i couldn't i wasn't able to uh what was i saying i kind of zoned off oh rattatas in them it was it was full of rattatas radicates the duos sparrows you know pokemon like that so what we're gonna do instead is i'm gonna do my two encounters here so i get an encounter here okay so we cut on indoran one of the rarest catches that we can do is a Chansey, but we don't want that. If anything, I kind of want a Kangaskhan, just to have, not to keep. But, uh, the other thing I wanted to do now that we're already here, is I wanted to go get the gold teeth. Or the tooth. The tooth. Tooth? Teeth? Teeth? Tooth? Uh, e Or, uh, the, the warden. Because the teeth, they out of his mouth. Tooth? Teeth? This, this, two, tooth? E. Okay, we already did this encounter. This one doesn't count. And encounter number two was an execute. Say hello to half a dozen. <laughs> I'm so fucking dumb. Okay, so we caught. I, I, I got his tooth. Tooth? <laughs> and I also managed to get a. I managed to get Surf, which was hidden here. Now, I don't know what other moves we need, but Surf 100, we need to get ourselves a really good HM slave. But, anyways, we go over here and we give it to the old man. Because he had me. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't. <laughs> the, the, the text doesn't come out. But he's like, thanks, son. Uh, uh huh. Well, I was too ashamed. Uh, so he gives us strength, and that's what we will also need. So, anyways, let's go fight Koga now. So the thing about Koga is he has invisible walls, and I don't know how they go. 
And again, it's way too much fucking time. So I'm just gonna skip all of it. Okay. So I just learned something. That I didn't even know was a thing. Shadow Ball. Which is a special move in Pokemon. What it does is, I think it has 10 PP. Base power 90, could be wrong. Accuracy 100. It has a ch like a 10% chance to lower your opponent's special defense. Oh no, 15. Anyways. So Ventrix is a special attacker. Now, at first, when I saw it happen, I was like... Well, maybe Ventrix is weak, but when I hit him with the Thunderbolt, it says otherwise. Ta-da! So, I, I was confused. And the thing is, I did play this game when I was little, right? I, I, it's not like I was introduced to Pokemon at such a super old age. But the thing is, is I didn't know until now. But Shadow Ball up to Generation 3, which means from Generation 1, 2, and 3, it's a physical move, not a special move. A, a ball of ghosts come and shit that you throw at your opponent is physical, not special, which I, I didn't know until now. Jesus Christ, it took me so long to realize that because I had to search it up. I was like, hold up. This is like a little bit way too weak than when it should be. And yeah, double checking, it is a physical type move. So that explains a lot on why Ventrix here just couldn't dish out too much damage with it. It's not because Ventrix is weak. Nice. It's because Shadow Ball is a physical move which is nonsense loser so that's something new i didn't know so that means i have to go get shadow ball no i lied i think i fucked up and i don't have shadow ball no more so i wasted the tm that i could have given to someone else with a higher physical attack stat. So yeah, I probably could have gotten a Snorlax or the can oh yeah, Snorlax. I don't think I was able to get Kongskong. But I could have gotten Snorlax and taught it Shadow Ball to help me. But no, instead I fucked up and taught it to Jolteon, which doesn't even benefit from it. But hey, I mean Whatever. But anyways, that I think that concludes our episode for today. I had a lot of fun, especially going back to Buried Alive. I think that was like my favorite part. But anyways, in the next episode, we will go take Sabrina, the psychic type gym leader. Probably find new Pokemon or new moves or whatever. We will also get a new member, hopefully, that I've been wanting to get or, you know, who knows. But we will be getting a special Pokemon as well. Anyways. It's been your boy Tiger. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. Other than that, peace.